I just got access to the new Strawberry model, the OpenAI model that has advanced reason, uh, reasoning capabilities and it is said to be um, PhD level. And so let's let's put it to a test. And uh, like let's let's maybe test one quick um, logic question question like this one. Imagine. So maybe let's let's copy this question and. So currently I have only access in the playground. Okay, but here we can select O1 Mini or O1 Preview. So the Mini is a bit faster and cheaper reasoning model, uh, but it's still good at math and science. O1 Preview would be even a uh, better model. So let's select O1 Mini. And um, yeah, just, just for reference here, I can, can give you the, the difference in capabilities. In green, you see the O1 model. Is it green? Yeah, I think it's uh, in this in this in this model. You see the O1 uh, model, with, which has extreme high inference cost, but very good um, score. But then the O1 mini model actually has also a very good score with extreme low inference cost. So this is kind of the most efficient and most skilled model we can use. Okay, so let's put in a question. Imagine the horse here is a chess piece, a knight. Which pieces of fruit can it legally move on to? And then I have this grid. Here you see the horse at the uh, at the bottom right. It's a tough question, right? Right for 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 um, ChatGPT. Um, in this case, it can move to the orange, so two pieces up, two fruits up, and uh, one to the left. It's orange. Um, it is on the on on the edge of the board, right? So it cannot move to the right. Now, what else can it do? It can move two two positions to the left and then posi one position up to the strawberry, right? So it can reach the strawberry and the orange. This is the correct answer. Let's, uh, let's run this. And as I run this, let's ask ChatGPT 4.0 to solve the same problem with a copy and paste. Uh, it correctly says that the knight moves in an L shape, but then it does some like uh, stupid considerations, right? So it says uh, the legal moves for the knight are onto the following fruit pieces like a pineapple, strawberry, blueberries, and it's already wrong, right? Um, like all this, it gives me far too many uh, positions it can move. This is a wrong answer. So ChatGPT 4.0 cannot actually solve this, uh, this puzzle. Let's have a look at um, the mini model, the O1 mini model. It is still thinking. This is also one of the, uh, one of the main differences of the uh, mini model as compared to uh, the other model this is kind of the innovation right that it is it can also think like a human it thinks about the problem deeply previously it was quicker so what i'm what i'm going to do is maybe maybe because i like left the tab it figured i i'm not prioritizing it so it doesn't give me its attention um, i find chat gpt is often doing it like this if you are not and if the tab is not active it is not running okay let's try this again or one mini it's probably overloaded because so many people are, are trying this currently. It's night in Germany, so uh, in Germany at least not many people are trying it, I think. Okay, so let's see if it did it right. To determine which fruits the knight can legally... So the knight, it figured out the right, the correct... It identified the correct emoji. Um, can legally move to. We'll analyze this possible move on the provided grid. In chess, knight moves in L shape, two squares in one direction and then one square perpendicular to that. I don't even know this word. Uh, grid layout, row one, row two, row three. So it correctly identifies the three rows. Then it gives me the knight's position, the correct position, row three, column six, and possible two moves. So it's really thinking deeply about this, right? Like as we human did. So it gives me the correct answer, strawberry and orange. Okay, so you see the model is far more intelligent. It can solve these kind of complicated logic questions. And yeah, it can legally move to, to, to these two pieces. It's uh, really an intelligent machine. And it's so surprising. I mean, the times we are living in are so amazing, right? This, uh, this thing is making so huge progress. And it, in a few couple of years, you will, you will tell your, um, everybody that, that maybe your children, you will tell them that you, you listened to human beings, right? To 40 human beings um, on YouTube when they are only talking to AI. Um, yeah, let's quickly check out the models, models capabilities. What I found most um, interesting, let's go over a few graphics. 
here it is optimized for stem reasoning um, so it has it is really great in coding really great in math and in reasoning and in logic you can see it here this are the, and the, at the bottom here you see gpt40 mini it had and gpt40 so you see the scores at uh, in this like mathematics in high school i mean math competition it's actually a pretty ChatGPT for all is pretty dumb comparatively but now here you see O1 mini is actually extremely intelligent and yeah you can see here while significantly cheaper outperforms O1 preview also O1 O1 mini score about 11 or 15 questions places it in approximately the top 500 US high school students so this is it is <laughs> this is a scalable model that can be copy pasted easily right and it is already like top 500 us high school students level top 500 of the whole us i mean this is insane right on the code forces competition websites o1 mini achieves elo 1650 which is again competitive with o1 and higher than o1 preview um, this elo score puts a model at approximately the 86th percentile of programmers who compete on the code forces platform it is also great at like the cyber security capture the flag challenges and actually here on the Finkster channel we have such a couple of videos where uh, one of our Finkster contributor actually um, performed the capture the flag challenges this is hacking right so it is able to 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 do hacking better than most humans uh, it's insane right i mean the ai capabilities are insane don't bother learning these things really truly i mean <laughs> we sh you should find uh, other niches than just like coding and stuff right i mean and um like meta coding maybe like just prompting these ai models using these ai models everything else is just waste like if you are not using ai in almost every task on a daily basis then you're doing something wrong i mean it's really inefficient here stem on some academic benchmarks required reasoning o1 mini outperforms gpt40 okay but in some language tasks uh, it is not as good right so this is was more optimized this model for the logic questions like probably like some nerdy students right and <laughs> nerdy math students uh, that are really or, or computer scientists uh, that are maybe better in reasoning and math than in communication the model speed is also pretty impressive i mean it's uh, you have seen it it's like chatgpt for all is faster of course but uh it's like nine seconds is fine right uh, i think it's an uh, int uh, very very like revolutionary um disruption once again uh the reasoning will open up many many more avenues many more application scenarios for instance in research and because it is now thinking for itself on a given problem this is like step one of a series of steps where it will unlock extreme scientific progress and it will accelerate scientific progress like nothing we have ever seen and i think the singularity is near truly Okay, thanks for listening to this video. Please give me a like and subscribe to the video, to the channel. Um, you might want to check out the, the model O1. It's really an interesting, uh, uh, interesting model. For now, there are so many, sin so many applications. Like my brain is already hurting. <laughs> I cannot even come up with all the great ways to make money out of this. Right? <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, just just be creative. Be on the right side of change. Use those things. Play with those things. And then, like, um, in, in a very cheerful way, try to use them to your advantage. Thanks for being here and see you in the next video. Bye.